So you might be on the fence whether or not to start a blog or maybe you have already decided you want to start but you don't know what the next steps are. So in this video we're going to dive into it. We're going to talk about what you should know and take into consideration right before starting and then what the next steps are in order to get more views. So let's get straight into the video. Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Flor and if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos every single week. So you might be wondering why am I doing this video? Who am I? So I've been a blogger for a bit over 10 years. On May 1st, 2020, my blog turned 10 years old, which explains this photo over here that I posted on my Instagram. So I've been doing this for a really, really long time. And for the past four years, I've been doing full-time content creation online. So I have some experience, I might say. So I want to help you if you're just getting started. First of all, maybe you're not still sure whether or not you should start a blog or not. So first, let me give you three reasons why you should absolutely go for it and start that blog. First of all, don't think of a blog as something like old style. Blog is maybe a name that sort of like appear like 10 or 15 or 20 years ago. But the truth is that a blog is still a site. And if you want to create an online presence and if you want to work creating content online, you should have a site. And the blog is a perfect opportunity for that. It's a place where you can share, where you can post, where you can write, where you can post images. It's a place where you can be totally yourself. So you should totally go for it. Second of all, a blog is a place that it's entirely yours. No one else controls your blog. You don't have any algorithms. You don't have any apps like can just like disappear anytime. Time. No, it's all yours. You can decide what appears first, what appears second, what goes on, when you publish, when you don't publish. So that's amazing. And the third reason why you should start a blog, and especially right now, it's because even though you might be thinking, oh, it's too late, people started like 10 years ago or whatever. No, it's not too late. It's like never too late. And especially right now, a lot of people are not publishing on their blogs because maybe they moved to YouTube or maybe mostly to Instagram. So it's now the perfect time to actually write a blog and publish blog posts because people are still searching for things. People still want to read information, to Google things, and maybe your blog would show up there. So you should totally go for it. So now you're at the point where you're like, okay, I'm going to go for it for, I'm going to start this blog. And you might be needing like some tips to get started, to get your foot through the door. So I'm going to share five tips that I wish I knew 10 years ago when I started my blog. First of all is to just start. I know this sounds like so silly or obvious or whatever but I know we're always like so nervous and like uh, we don't have enough confidence to start something like this but you just like you just you just you should just like go for it. There's this phrase that says that the best time to start a new project was five years ago. And the second best time is right now. So once you finish this video, you go ahead and you start your blog today. The second tip I would give you is to start for the right reasons. And when I say right reasons, I mean, if you wanna share something with the world, whether you're a lover about fashion, about beauty, travel, whether you're a doctor and you wanna share what the experience of being a doctor is like, or you wanna share tips about photography, nature, about the city you live in. Whatever that is, just start your blog because you want to write about that. You want to share with the world, with the online community about everything that you know, things that you think people would like be interested in reading. And when they say right reasons, you might think, well, what are the wrong reasons, you know? So maybe if you follow some bloggers or content creators, you might see them like going on press trips or getting like free stuff or getting like paid campaigns. And the truth is that starting a blog might take you you there but it takes a really really long time it took me four years and I'm not even kidding four years to get an actual paid campaign since starting my blog so you might be blogging for a year two three four or maybe even more before actually getting into either a gift campaign a paid campaign or even a press trip so if you're starting because you want to get something in return you're gonna get really frustrated because those things might not come fast enough and if you get frustrated you're probably gonna abandon your blog you're gonna stop writing so i'm like 100 like go for it but just like go for the right reasons go because you want to share 
things with the world. The third tip I wish I had known maybe 10 years ago is to like not try to be perfect. I know that it's difficult nowadays when you see every like perfect picture on Instagram or perfect videos on YouTube. You're like, okay, I'm like not on that level. So I don't know whether I should start or not, but you should like totally, totally go for it. Cause no one starts knowing everything. No one starts like being perfect. If you're not sure about your writing or maybe your photos, just don't worry. Just like start, start somewhere and you're gonna get better with time. And that's like kind of the beauty of it. My fourth tip, and this is something that I get asked all the time on my DMs, on emails and other messages is like, I don't know what name to use on my blog. I don't know if I should like think about it like for months or days, or I don't know if it's like something that's not important. And on one hand, it's important. The name of your blog is important, but you should not like get stuck on that. So if you aren't sure about the name of your blog, just don't get like oh, thinking about that for like three months, four months, five or for a whole year. And then you don't start your blog. Just like pick your, your name and your last name, the street you live in, the name of your pet, mix all that together. I don't know, but just like get started. You could just like type your own name and that would be perfect. You can change your name like in a year or two years time or wherever you feel like doing that. So don't worry too much about that and just start. And the fifth tip that I want to give to you is to enjoy the process and to celebrate every milestone. And what I mean about this is that you should celebrate every single new follower that joins your blog, that is reading your blog. If someone comments, celebrate that. If you hit a hundred blog posts, you celebrate that. If you hit 200 blog posts, you celebrate that as well. If your blog turns one year old or two years old, you go ahead and celebrate that. Because in the end, these little like milestones are the little things that make up to the whole picture. So now you're very pumped up. You're almost excited. You're like, I'm going for it for, I'm going for it. I'm going to start my blog. So I'm going to end this video by giving you five practical tips that you should be applying right now. As soon as you finish watching this video to start your blog. First of all, you're thinking maybe about platforms. So I want to recommend you four different platforms. Two of them I've used, two of them I haven't, but they are pretty good and everyone talks about them. So I started my blog back in blogger, blogger.com. That place still exists. You can start your blog over there. It's like pretty basic and doesn't have like much to like play around and personalize it, but it's okay to get started and it's free. Then I moved to WordPress, which I absolutely recommend, but it's like a bit more difficult, a bit more like serious and a bit pricier because there are like certain things you have to pay. So I would say maybe move to WordPress like if you're like really serious about it and maybe in like two or three years time. And then I know you can also start blogs or sites over on Wix or on Square space. So maybe Google all those platforms and pick the one you think works best for you. Just don't get crazy at the beginning about your own domain or about hosting or about like really expensive play plans. Just get started on something either free or really inexpensive and see how that goes. Second practical tip has to do on how to gain more visits. Of course, your blog is new and you want people to visit it. So you should pay really close attention to what you put in your title and what words you uses tags. So for example, if you're writing about your experience traveling across Europe, backpacking, it's great if you say how to backpack through Europe and that should be the title of a blog post, but you should not do like my trip in 2019. Cause like no one's going to Google my trip in 2019, but people are going to Google how to go backpacking through Europe. So maybe think about that every time you start a new blog post, how to maybe write the name of your blog post as a question you would ask and answer that question on your blog post. And you can also use tags and you can like sort of like organize your content within your blog and link all your posts like everywhere. So for example, if you're talking about a trip that took 10 days and you're writing one blog post per each day, you should link the other blog posts at the beginning and at the end. So you can like take people to your other blog posts. So in this way, when someone like stumbles upon your blog, they can like keep on reading. They can keep on seeing your content, which is what you want in the end. A third thing has to do with images. Images are so, so important, like help tell your story. So you might be like unsure about that. Maybe you don't have a great camera or maybe you don't have a camera at all. So first of all, 
your phone is great. Phones nowadays are amazing and they all have amazing cameras. So you should not worry about not having a proper camera. You could like totally use the camera in your phone. But maybe if you don't even have that, or maybe if you're not sure about the photos you're taking, there are a lot of sites that have amazing, amazing resources, amazing images online that you can use totally for free. Some of these sites are Nsplash, Burst, Pixabay, and Pixels. I'm gonna be linking all of them down below and you can like totally check them out. They have the most amazing images and they have like a lot of like different options you can choose from. So that's amazing. And you can use those images on your site for free. My fourth tip is to be consistent. And what I mean by being consistent is that you don't have to publish every single day. I mean, if you can totally go for it, but it's not an obligation, but you should be posting like regularly, either once a day, once a week, two, three times a week. So people can expect new content. Cause like, imagine you go into a blog, you discover someone's post for from let's say 2018. And when you hit like home, you see that this person has not been updating the blog for the past year or for the past like six months. You maybe don't want to read that blog anymore. Cause like, you know, this person is like not working on it. Or this person is like, just like abandon it. So work on it, work on your blog post. I know at the beginning I did like one blog post per day or maybe two per day, which was like a lot, but everyone's like doing that. But now if you do at least one blog post every week or maybe two per week, that should be okay. And the fifth and last practical tip is that you should be sharing your content everywhere because you're the best person for it. So you should be sharing your content with your friends through iMessage, through WhatsApp, through Twitter, through Facebook, Instagram, whatever you feel like you should be sharing your new blog post. If someone says, Hey, how was your experience backpacking in Europe last year? You're like, you know what? I have a blog post about it. So let me send a link to that. So try to take every opportunity you have to share your content, to say to people, Hey, I wrote about that on my blog. So let me send a link to that. You are the best person for it. You are the best person to be like shouting out the roof. Hey, there's a new blog post. So you should totally go for it. If you don't promote your own content, nobody else will. And that's the truth. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. And I hope it helped you with like starting your blog. If you use any of the tips and you start your blog, email me or DM me. You can tag me on Instagram at Flovereda, which you can see over here. And I would love to check out your blogs. And you can leave a comment down below as well, leaving the link to your blog so other people can go and visit it. And if you're new here, and as I mentioned before, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell down below. And you can, of course, check out my blog, which will be linked down below, which is called pendulineblog.com. And see you on the next video. Bye.